and we're live. Joe Rogan is <laughs> the one I wonder about. Now, I, I, it said 20 million. This is like four years ago. His podcast has just been booming, and then he got that 100 million Spotify deal. Have you seen Joe Rogan's new studio? Yeah, it's like a cockpit, or not a cockpit, no, but a fuselage. Everybody hates it. They hate it. Um, my, we were watching it on my, my stream last night, and just my chat universally You'd think I don't it like wouldn't it matter. You'd think it, yeah, I, I don't like it either. And before I saw it, I thought, but I don't care, right? It's the quality of the conversation. That's what I'm listening for. But then I saw it, and I was like, eh, no, this isn't. Why is it good. red? Right? Why is it all? And this this like gold statue in the corner that looks retarded. That's taking up so much space. Feels feels crowded in here. It is crowded, right? Yeah, I don't like it. He he couldn't have made a better studio with with real walls, say in a bunker. Um, yeah, I don't really I don't watch his podcast, so I don't really guess it doesn't really matter. But that's weird. I can't play it because I'm. Afraid I don't like it. it. Like, the, but the thing is, like, it doesn't bother me. It's just it's I prefer the old the old way. And, and look, maybe he'll probably fucking change it next year. I think at four thirty five or something, you can really see it. I'm looking for it. I need to find it again. Hmm. He had a uh, Ron White on a couple days ago. Who's and, he? Uh, I know the he's comedian. Like a, he's, they call me yeah. Tater Salad. He was one of the uh, redneck comedy tour guys. Yeah, blue collar. Uh, blue collar comedy, whatever. But like, yeah, that was, and he was probably the funniest one of them. He was for sure. He's he's my favorite. I, I love that that whole they call me Tater Salad bit. I know. Um, yeah. The Ron White one, go to 53 seconds. 53. That's his new place. Yeah, I hate that. You can see it. You're at 53 seconds. You see the, mm-hmm. the shot I want you to see. Yeah. And it, yeah. Also, I think that it's not very flattering. Like maybe Joe's shirt is just bad, but I don't know, man. Like these are not flattering camera angles they get like you they look it's an aggressive sloppy. color to look at mm. I, like it, it, and, and the even the sound paneling the soundproofing like that's ugly it shuts out so far from the wall is they, the lighting bad every time i see joe he looks worse than i'm used to seeing joe yeah the lighting's weird i don't, I don't like anything about it really um yeah it's pretty terrible I bet he thought oh everybody's gonna fucking love this where do they see i'm doing it from a fucking plane Maybe. It's really just a cockpit that he had read. Looks like a redone. fuselage. Someone like the... told me Elon Musk did it for him. Mm. It's my Twitch chat. The, now you know you place the proper weight on the quality of that source. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, I don't like it, but it's whatever. I still like the show. It doesn't. It doesn't like ruin the show for me or anything. No. Uh, I, I wonder how many people actually watch it anyway. Like I do. Are I, I only watch it. Oh really? Yeah. I don't listen to it. I uh, I only watch it. Okay. <sighs> yeah. So you like sit there and watch the cameras change while they're talking? Like you? Yeah. Watch... Actually, like it's a YouTube uh, video. I don't think I like the way the camera flips back and forth as much as I like the PKA setup. I don't know what the world thinks, but having them both. Yeah, I would rather them take our people, put them in boxes, and you get to see them all the time instead of. Like nonstop jump cuts. You get to see them responding to points as much as making them. I like I, guess. It. I like I like the three I like a three camera setup for that. I like a wide and uh too close. I want it like to me there's some value in seeing like what the how the other guys are reacting to the speaker. Like I, I I enjoy that. And you don't get it at all on Joe's show. You have one speaker and one listener. And it's mm. um no. Maybe he'll, I mean, if all it would take to fix most of it is to change the backlighting color. Like the red is terrible. Mm, it's still a tiny little airplane fuselage with no room. I think it looks like they can't stand up. Yeah, like, it looks like they have to crowd. What if he gets like a tall guest in? It's weird. I didn't think I placed any value in this. I thought I thought I didn't care at all. But now it's like 
Dude, Joe used to have this like dream studio. It was Joe's version of a perfect building. It had a weightlifting gym in the back, some heavy bags, some speed bags. I think it had mats you could roll on. It had a foyer large enough for them to shoot flamethrowers in and then a studio to do his podcast. His isolation mm-hmm. tanks. It's, yeah, this is Joe Rogan's version of a perfect building. And he's, he's talked about how he loves it there. He's talked about how sometimes he goes there because he's got like a wife and three daughters at home and he needs a little less estrogen in his life and he goes to his studio and that's his man cave and that's his place and i'm like fuck yeah joe you do you you deserve it you 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 get something that makes you happy i like it and now he's in this tiny little red tube that is clearly the, his place of employment and it's like fuck this isn't joe's dream well man. i'm sure there's like a stuff in the back right like I, I bet he didn't lose all that other stuff but you, you know, know it's in texas right like it's a different yeah. place okay yeah, I don't yeah, know just what buy a new one. Is. He can have anything he wants. I'm with you yeah. there, right? I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, oh, Joe, I liked you where you were. I, I liked it for him. I liked him having his version of a perfect place. But I think Texas, I'm sorry. I think California is not his dream location. And that's why he's switching it up. Yeah, I don't blame him. He's going to pay a lot less in taxes, a lot more freedoms. I, well, are, so, so, somewhat. No more weed. I don't know. That's kind of lame. There are some places <laughs> that are really nice to live, but only if you're super rich. Like I've got San Diego in my head. San Diego has beautiful weather. It has great things to do. I'm not sure if it's San Diego, San Diego specifically, but there are some places in California where you can ski and surf like the same day. And that's crazy to me, right? Those are mountains and ocean. They're different things. But no, there are spots in California where you're close enough to do both. And that's outrageous. But it's only cool if you're really rich. You know, you have to be Kobe Bryant rich or something to to get around. Well, it doesn't have too much. Could have picked a better example. 